Welcome back to my channel where we discuss everything related to software development in Agile environment. Today our topic is about how you can become a Scrum Master. In this video, I'm going to discuss three main things. Firstly, what is a Scrum Master? I will briefly high level cover the Scrum Master role, how you can become a Scrum Master, the skills, the experience and the certification you need to become a Scrum Master. And at the end, I will quickly cover where you can find all the resources required for you to become a successful Scrum Master. The next video on my channel, after this video, will be covering the interview questions for Scrum Master. So how you can succeed and how you can ace your next Scrum Master interview. So what is a Scrum Master? What does the role of Scrum Master consist of? Is it a project manager? Is it a facilitator? What does a Scrum Master do all day? And why is this role called Scrum Master? When Jeff Sunderland and his friend came up with the idea of Scrum Master and Scrum Framework, they looked at the skill required for this role. And they thought that calling a project manager or any other name not do justice for what this role needs to do or is required to do. So they came up with this name Scrum Master. Firstly, where does the Scrum term come from and why is this framework called Scrum? Those of you who know rugby, you would know that Scrum in rugby is when everyone in the team gets into that headlock position and everyone on that team is focused on doing one thing and one thing alone is to get hold of that ball. That position is called Scrum. And Scrum framework is based on that idea that everyone in a Scrum team is working with one mission and one mission alone, is to meet that sprint goal and to deliver this software project or whatever project they're working on, this product successfully. Deliver this project or this product in such a way that it meets all of the customer's needs and requirements. The role of Scrum Master consists of seven different things, seven different parts that make up the role of Scrum Master. And we, I will briefly touch upon each of those. I will not go into detail, but I will briefly just touch upon them. One, the most obvious one probably, is that the Scrum Master is a facilitator. You as a Scrum Master will be facilitating all of the Scrum ceremony, daily Scrum, sprint reviews, sprint planning, uh, retro, all of these things. So facilitation is key part of your role and you need to get good at it. Second role of a Scrum Master is that Scrum Master is a servant leader. Scrum Master, as a Scrum Master, you do not have the authority or the power to go and shout at people or say, no, you must do this. No, as a Scrum Master, you are there to support the team meet their sprint goals and their product goals. And you work with the team by removing impediments, by providing them the vision of what this product needs to deliver, what the customer requirements are, and how the team meet the sprint goals. So you are a servant leader for your team. Part three, you as a Scrum Master, you are a coach for your Scrum team. You need to coach them in the best practices of Agile, Scrum, and also help them in the best practices for the software development. So you need to coach them on how to do sprint planning or how to do estimation and story points. You need to coach them on best practices, like how to do test-driven development and behavior-driven development, why they should be doing unit tests, and coach the team to work together as one team. Coach the team to focus on delivering that product goal to the customer, the same way as the rugby team gets into the scrum with that one purpose of getting that ball. So you are a coach for your team and you need to coach them in best practices. According to Scrum Guide, another part of your role is that you are a coach for the wider organization. You need to coach the wider organization in the agile values, especially with your stakeholders. 
You need to coach them about the Agile and Scrum value. Coach your stakeholders in how you will be delivering this product incrementally and build that trust with them. And the only way of building trust with your stakeholders is by coaching them in Agile values. And when they understand that you will be on a regular basis delivering this product incrementally, they won't be demanding that you go for big bang release. The stakeholders will start to support the team in becoming successful and in removing impediments. So you as a Scrum Master, you are a coach for the organization as well. You as a Scrum Master, you will become a shield for your team. You will protect them from external influences. You will protect them from the stakeholders and the business. Someone comes to the team and say, please quickly do this. No, you need to protect the team from external disturbances so that they can focus on sprint goals. So you need to become a shield for your team. Another part of your role that is quite related to being shield is a bulldozer. You as a scrum master, you need to go and remove and bulldoze those impediments that are slowing your team down. You need to work with the external team to make sure that your team does not become blocked by the external dependency. So talk to the stakeholders, make sure that your external dependencies get prioritized on their sprint backlog. So you need to become a bulldozer in removing impediments and shield for your team to protect them from the external and a shield to protect your team from the external influences and distractions. One of the core things about Agile and that what makes it really successful is that the team must continuously improve and learn and grow. So you need to become an advocate for continuous improvement within the product that you're delivering, within the tools you're using, and within the skills that the team has. So in every sprint review, in every retro, to be honest with, you need to look at what improvement you can bring in to your processes, to your product. In essence, Scrum Master role is not just a facilitator or is not just consisting of getting Scrum Master certification. It embodies many other roles and soft skills that you need as a Scrum Master to be successful. In part two, and let's discuss what you need to do to become a Scrum Master. The first thing is you need to understand what Agile and Scrum is. If you want to become a Scrum Master, then you need to know why you want to become a Scrum Master. What is that thing that is driving you toward this goal? Understand what Scrum is, what Agile is, and what Scrum Master does every day. So get understanding of Agile. That is point number one. Point number two is to gain experience. And when I'm saying gain experience, it doesn't mean you get the role of Scrum Master. Being part of a Scrum team is good enough. Because when you're part of a Scrum team, you understand what the role of Scrum Master is required. And you also understand that as a Scrum Master, when you become a Scrum Master, what environment you need to create for your team. As a Scrum Master, you're not trying to copy other methodologies. As a Scrum Master, you're trying to create that environment and that culture within your team that encourages, that fosters experiment, that fosters the team to focus and need deliver amazing products. Okay, being part of a scrum team, especially a successful and good scrum team, will be really beneficial for you. In most scrum teams these days, it is the team that take part in facilitation. In my team, we rotate the person who does the daily scrums every sprint. So I don't facilitate the daily scrum till the team members take turns because it gives them that facilitation skill that will be necessary for them when they move on to the other senior role. By just being part of a good scrum team, you'll get quite a lot of experience that is required for you. So join a scrum team if possible and get that experience. Part three, get Scrum Master certification. Scrum Alliance and Scrum.org are two organizations that do the certification for Scrum Master. So, if you get certification from either of these two bodies, it is acceptable within the Agile Engine. Scrum certification is a mandatory two-day course. You must attend that. It's not something that you can study and give exam. No, you must attend the two-day course. 
and then at the end of that there is an exam that you must pass but the exam is fairly easy and you, what you need to understand is that two days is a very small amount of time for you to learn everything you need to learn for scrum and for becoming a scrum master so by simply just getting this scrum certification scrum master certification does not guarantee that you will become a scrum master or that you will get the job of a scrum master for you to land your scrum master role you need to show your employer that you understand agile and that you understand scrum and that even though you do not have that experience you are willing to gain that experience but you understand the agile mindset and that you will continuously learn part four step number four in you becoming a scrum master is that you must develop the soft skills so in the beginning of this video i discussed the seven roles of scrum master so look at those seven roles as a facilitator as a servant leader and then develop the soft skills required for those roles and look at your current role and see where you can apply these soft skills where can you do facilitation in your new current role where can you develop your communication skills in your current role and where can you develop and practice your leadership skills in your current role so build those soft skills for that are required for the scrum master role and step number five is to start applying for a scrum master role so when you start applying for a scrum master role you need to tell the employer that firstly you understand agile and that you have the agile mindset and there are three key resources that will come in really handy i think there are three books that will greatly help you towards landing your first scrum master role and the first book that i want to discuss in part of those three books is this book here from the art of doing twice the work in half the time this book is written by jeff thunderland he is the co-founder or co-inventor of scrum methodology scrum framework and this doesn't talk about the ceremonies of scrum as such it does in appendix quickly cover the scrum but it talks about the background story to scrum and talks about what are the things you as a scrum master should be practicing in your scrum team what are the key practices and the mindset that a scrum team should have and what is the culture of a scrum that is required for them to be successful this so, book and the learning from this could be applied to any organization even if the teams are not doing scrum so this is a mandatory book from my point of view for every scrum master to have read. if i'm interviewing someone for the role of scrum master which i've done many times and if they have not read this book then the chance of them getting the role of a scrum master no matter how much experience they have is very low because to me this is one of the must read books for scrum the second book that i would say that everyone should read is this book scrum mastery from good to great scrum master and this again talks about the thing that you as a scrum master should this do this is a very practical book which talks about what are the things you need to do to become a great scrum master and how to lead your team to success this book talks about what a good scrum master does what every scrum master does and what you need to do to become an extraordinary scrum master and make your team a extraordinary team with the knowledge from these two books you will become a great scrum master. your team will become extraordinary you will make your team the best team within your organization so these two books are mandatory from my point of view for every scrum master to have read before i move on to the third book that i'm recommending i would recommend that you read the scrum guide scrum guide is only 18 pages long it tells you what is inside the scrum framework it also shows how light the scrum framework is and the need to look at the other frameworks and methodologies like extreme programming and bringing the best practices from those frameworks into your scrum team the final book i want to touch upon today is this book it's not as well known as the other two but this professional scrum master handbook this is a really good book and especially if you're new to agile and scrum this book 
will be really handy for you because it goes through step by step what you as a scrum master need to do. So it talks about how you need to do your sprint planning, what things you need to look at in your sprint planning. Within your sprint planning, how you do capacity planning. It talks about how you need to run your daily scrums. It talks about what metrics you should look at and how you should measure them. So this book gives you step by step guide how to become and how to run your scrum team. One thing you need to understand as a scrum master is that it is a journey, it's not a destination. So you need to continually work on your self-development, on learning new skills. In the description for this video, I will put the link to a blog where I mention the 10 must-read books for every scrum master. The next video to come on my channel is going to be where I talk about the interview questions for the scrum master. What are the common interview questions and how you need to answer. Please like this video if you have enjoyed it and please do not forget to subscribe this channel. With the resources I mentioned in this video and with the next video on interview questions, you will be on your way to landing your first exciting Scrum Master role. Till next time, thank you for watching.